All right, so we're gonna go feed the, uh, the goats and the pigs. Hi, guys. Hello. Are we letting the goats graze again today? Uh, we can try later if you want. Good idea. I'm gonna a tiny bit just to keep them all distracted. And over there. That way they're not bum rushing the door too much. Oh, no, 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 no. Good shit. Look at that good shit. Hi. Hello. Sit. Good shit. Oh, look at that good shit. Damn. You old gremlin. You should have Julie sit. Good sit, Petunia. Oh, Petunia wiped a bunch of slobber all over me. Oh, Julie! Petunia thinks you have food. Daisy, sit. Sit, Daisy. Good, Daisy. Good girl, Daisy. Sit. Daisy, sit. Sit, good girl, Daisy. Now, if you really want to show off what a good trainer you are, have Bambi sit. That thing's hopeless. <laughs> that thing's brain's this big. Bam! We've been working on sit for a year. Can you sit, Bam? No. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Daisy, sit! Sit, Daisy! Oh, the cool piggy, Daisy. So cool piggy. <laughs> Petunia, sit, sit, Petunia. Oh, Petunia's like jumping. Are you jumping? Oh, look at Daisy being so good. Oh, good girl, Daisy. Look at her, good girl, Daisy. Look at her. Petunia, I don't have anything, babe. Petunia, can you sit? Sit, Tony. There you go. Oh, there we go. She's cheating. Oh, Petunia? Yeah. I know, but it's cute. Oh my goodness. We're gonna have to teach you. We gotta teach you how to sit. Look at them. Oh, oh Toonie, geez. no fighting. No fighting. So we got our friends at uh, Cal Fencing with Chad over here putting up the overhang on the alligator fence. So uh, that's looking really good. Not only does that look really good, but that means that if they're climbing up and they're leaning up, they have to get over this, which is very, very difficult. Um, it doesn't look like much, but this makes a huge difference when an animal's coming up like this and then they have to try to get over this to be able to get over the fence. So this will really add in a lot of security. Uh, this is not required by Fish and Wildlife. This is something that I am choosing to do. Um, also just kind of talk about that for a second. So the requirements for this fence, it only has to be five feet tall. So I made mine six feet tall. Uh, this is not required. I'm choosing to add this in and pay the expense for that too. And we're also choosing, not required, we're choosing to put in a dig guard at the bottom as well too. So these are all additions that I'm going to be putting in at my facility just because I want 
top of the end, security on all this stuff, make sure everything works out really well. Hi, Jumanji. How are you doing? Your grass is growing. Look at all that. Pretty soon it'll be nice and tall and you can eat it. Looks like he's already been eating some. You see it in his mouth right there? Yeah, he's totally been eating some. You gonna eat the phone? No. You gonna try to eat my phone? He's sniffing it. Good morning, Jelly Bean. How we doing, huh? You look angry. So I just took his bowl away and he looks pretty mad about it. Let's do the, the hat test. Oh, we're actually being nice. Are we being nice? Oh, no, you're eyeing my finger. Look, he's so smart. He's avoiding the hat. Oh, and he's trying to get my finger underneath. That's what he's literally going for. I see you. No blueberry means you get stabbed. All right, so I got a bunch of dirty bowls just collected from the parrots, foxes, coatis, uh, everything. So now time to clean it. We got the cleanup crew. Get to work, ladies. And ta-da, they're all magically clean. 20 minutes later. Bam, you got your raccoon, bam? Oh, is this your baby? Yeah, okay. All right, so we got all the food loaded up on the back of the golf cart, so now to go ahead and feed everybody. Gabby's leaving me. All right, so time to feed the foxes. Hey, 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 stop it. You're being all crazy. So we got some chicken drumsticks for them, omnivore diet, exotic canine diet, apple, peach, blueberry, coconut water, only the best, green beans too. Okay, 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 okay. You guys are nuts. Come here. Here, look, there you go. There you go. That's for you, psycho. Well, Kira, you're gonna be dumb, you're gonna be tough. She took her chicken drumstick, where it's supposed to be safely up here, and hid it over there, and now Hazel's gonna eat it, and uh, nothing I can really do about that. I'm not gonna sit here and play bodyguard for him. And pooping. Trying to figure out how to get up there. Cause I'm over here blocking. Some crazy girl. Bad girl, Hazel. Why don't you just eat your own food? There you go. 
Stop trying to, oh, and pee in your own food. That's nice. And then eat it. Oh, that's beautiful. But that really uh, adds to the flavor. Peeing it again. Nice. We have some fresh water. All right, the quaddies look like they're hungry and ready. You guys ready for food? So they're getting some banana, uh, some chicken drumsticks, omnivore diet, monkey biscuit, apple, uh, banana. There's some bee pollen on there, an egg, green bean, and I think that's everything. It's the most glamorous job of the sanctuary. So much fun, guys. I feel like they've been pooping more than usual lately. I don't know. It's like an explosion. Yeah, I think we should just stop feeding them <laughs> and then I won't have to do this. It's a great idea. There's so much. I know, it's crazy. No, there's nobody pooped in here today. <laughs> the ones. All right, so Aaron is here helping me out, and we're gonna go ahead and do a deep clean on the quaddies now. So we got them all locked out, and go ahead and spray, scrub, bleach, all that fun stuff. All right, so everything's nice and clean and scrubbed and bleached and looks nice and good. So we're ready to let the little monsters back out here so they can make it filthy again. What you think, Lil? Lily. Hi, Lil. Hi, Lily. Be nice, kind of. She's been being pretty chill lately. If you didn't see, talking about her before, she's the one that we caught that uh, obviously escaped or released by somebody, but, so she's the only one that's like genuinely dangerous, will actually lunge at you and try to get you. Hi, Lola. Loli. You guys checking everything out? How's the maid service, huh? You approve? Chat. got some rabbit so and today we've got rabbit we've got um the exotic canine diet peach uh pepper green bean apple dried crickets blueberry uh did i forget anything i think that's everything maybe some free shrimp though oh okay he looks very happy
Asami. What are you getting? Gotta sniff everything. And for the pepper, that's her favorite. Look at his tail. Hey, Jelly Bean. Got some blueberries. Look how happy he is now. Yeah, my thumb is right there, prime for picking. He's being nice. Oh, drop blueberry, almost got my thumb. Okay, as long as he's got a blueberry in his mouth, he's cool. There you go. So he's got blueberry, banana, peach, uh, apple. Budgies and cockatiels are happy. Got them some new food. Sorry, in the background you can hear him working on the fence, so it's really loud, unfortunately. And all these little guys are being cute. They don't seem bothered. All right, so quaddies are done. All right, so quaddies are done. Now we're gonna go ahead and clean up Asami the skunk, and I got a bunch of new peat moss in the back, so we're gonna put that in for her. Are you helping? Are you helping? Yeah? What are we doing in your house, huh? What are we doing? Yeah, she's getting playful. They're gonna run away. <laughs> what are you doing? What are you doing, Chunk Skunk? Stomping. Oh, you stomping. Being crazy. Oh. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, ho. Being crazy. And food. All right, so I didn't film it, but we also just cleaned out the uh, chicken coop and the baby pigs and got all their poop out. So now we're going to go put this all in the compost pile, but uh, work never ends. Crazy. All right, so this is the prairie dog enclosure right now, guys. So, Clover's going crazy now. Look at her go. So this is the prairie dog enclosure right now. So we've got all this rubble on the bottom. And so this is uh, the big rocks on the bottom for drainage. And then we're gonna put all these smaller rocks down on top of that and then put the dirt on top of it and then put the pipes in for the prairie dogs to be able to utilize too. So the idea here is to create a whole bunch of rocks on the bottom so it gets proper drainage. Now there are holes in the bottom of this. It was draining. It was just uh, retaining moisture, not even like liquid water at the bottom. That wasn't even an issue. It was always raining out, but there was enough moisture in the sand where it settled down there that it was like kind of moist. And that was creating an issue with the prairie dogs with like fungus and whatnot. So this is the recommendation we got from the leading prairie dog expert uh, in the country. So put all this stuff down and put these rocks down and then put the dirt down and then put pipes in that. And then this should create enough of a drainage area for the prairie dogs. And then we can get them back out here.
Okay, well, you know, it just never ends, so all this just flooded out. Oh my god. So the well just burst the pipe. Look at that. It's cracked open right there. And I just came out here to do the uh, checks on all the animals at night and check the heating. And uh, wow, this has only been... I, I mean, we were just out here like... I don't know, an hour ago, and this whole thing just flooded out, like, man, so this sucks. Look at that, I mean, the water's, I mean, it's hard to tell the scale, but this flooded all the way over here, all the way back here, oh, Clover, oh my god. So this is the the small parrot aviary, the uh, budgies and cockatiels. And the water goes all the way over here to Jumanji from over there. So this has just been blasting out after that pipe cracked for maybe an hour and just completely flooded all this back here, this whole trail over this way. I mean, thank God I came out here to do my checks and... Make sure everybody's got their heat plugged in and everything because it's getting down, you know, kind of low tonight. But, yeah, just, dude, like, why? Clover, get out of there. All right, so now I'm out in the aviary. And we have all the heat lights on, so it's all red light. Uh, but I'm getting Olaf, so we're going to bring him inside just because, you know, he's not been doing so great. So we're going to bring him inside, give him his meds. And then, uh, you know, we just keep them inside just in case, you know, uh, anything goes wrong or anything like that. But he seems like he's doing pretty good. You doing good? You a good boy? Are you a happy boy? Yeah. We're going to bring you inside. Oh, that's Cupid. 